Hey, it's Lucas K.O. Bro with my 7th Spy video. I know it's been a while, guys, so let's just jump right in, eh? I get two stabs from behind the enemy lines. The medic melees me, and so I have to run back towards my pyro for safety. I run and grab the health and ammo, see two soldiers, and I decide I'm going to stab the one in the back. Unfortunately, when I go to try and stab him, he's already attacking a spy, so I know he's paranoid and he's being cautious. I dodge to the side to avoid an edgy, and then sidestab the soldier. I go into stealth, because a demo pops up, he melees me once, and so I jart into a different direction that he wouldn't expect. Here I'm being chased by an edgy, so I take a <laughs> wild stabs at a sniper, and then realize the edgy has no clue that I'm a spy, and so I go back for another. But now I've decided, okay, <laughs> I've given the edgy enough slack, and uh, take him out as well. Sexual chocolate, oh yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm heading back now. This music is catchy, isn't it? So I'm disguised as a sniper. And <laughs> I catch him again. Now by around the corner, it burns my knife, and I stealth, but it's still not enough. I'm on fire, I loop back around to their spawn, but no! Two are spawned, and it's just... Oh, there's just no hope for me. <laughs> We're on uh, Dust Bowl now. I get behind their defense. <laughs> and cheekily hedge out the sniper before stabbing him. <laughs> my number one priority now is the sentry. That is by far the thing I want to destroy. Now the demo takes out one sentry, but another one starts to be built up. So I grab a health and ammo and meanwhile tell my teammates that another one's being put up. I'm going to take it out. I stealth. Jart one way, and when the needle the needles from the medic's medic gun hit me, I go the other way. I pick up metal on the ground to keep my cloak up, and now I get caught in the back because of the pyro and the medic. So this guy is a sniper, and blend in. And my health is very low, and the pyros are being very paranoid and checking spawn, so I know that I need to act soon. And I decide the best target for me to take out is the heavy. Here, I try to sap. <laughs> I stealth because it's obviously not going to work. I loop behind the NG and stab at him again and sap all of his stuff. The suppression blast from the pyro allows me to escape with very little effort. The pyro used his melee weapon to remove the sapper off of the dispenser, unfortunately. So I decide that I'm going to loop back around and see if I can take it out before the sentry gets put back in place. And finally, I feel it's clear. I s stealth and pause a brief moment to make sure I'm completely stealth before showing myself. I jump down, and the demo moves forward, and this allows me to be able to just go right for a stab on the NG. <laughs> Who's <is> clearly upset. <laughs> Sometimes all talk is wonderful when you can hear how frustrated the person is. Now I jump down and sap the sentry again because the pyro removed the sapper. And we go for a back cap, which obviously doesn't do well, but the medic pops his Uber! So, <laughs> in a way, it was a success. He was not very happy when he realized what he'd done. So, I stealth again before coming out, and then I open the gate and walk on forward. I decloak, and once again, go right for the sentry. Now, I have no clue how the NG missed me. <laughs> Unfortunately, the other sentry started shooting me, so I had to stealth to get away from it. Now I come back around <laughs> on stealth, and once again, oh, this poor NG. Kill him again, but they win the round. The bastards. Back on defense now. Take out the pyro before he kills the sentry gun. And I stealth and make my way behind their offensive. Catch the sniper. I want to get more kills, but then I notice the sentry and decide the best step 
for me to take would be to take out the sentry from afar. I landed the first headshot, but I should have caught, like, casually shot him a second time. I should have aimed and been patient. Finally, I <laughs> learned my lesson, and once the NG is dead, this allows me to shoot down his sentry. I'm being very cautious because I'm also talking, uh, and there's all talk so they can see the emblem above my head, so I had to be careful. I see my chance to move in. Now unfortunately the sniper pauses here and I thought he was going to take a shot, so I stab. But luckily I'm able to get ahead in this melee duel. <laughs> Which allows me to take out the pyro. Now I started to stealth to jump over here, but the sniper takes out the people on the ledge, and so I loop back around, grabbing health and ammo and decide to check this path. I mess around for a little bit before I finally decide that I need to get behind their offensive. So I try and flank them. But a demo is spamming that, the right side. So I head to the left. I pick up more ammo to refill my cloak. And I jump over and hug the wall to possibly avoid detection. <laughs> that poor NG. Killed the NG again. <laughs> and loop back around. My main target here is the medic, so I just ignore the demo when he backs up. I jump over to the right side, stealth, and once I'm invisible, you're off to the left side. This is a nice way to deceive anyone who's possibly following you in case that demo didn't manage to follow me. Now, I cloak this out so I go for the middle first. <laughs> and, uh, headshot him. Unfortunately, I'm not able to finish him off, even though I was sort of aiming. <laughs> he does not like me. But, um, unfortunately, what also happens is I don't get out of there in time. I should have stealthed instantly as soon as they started shooting uh, projectiles my way, and I did not. But oh, what can you do? Here on offense, hedge out the NG and then take out his sentry. Checking behind me, being cautious. You always want to check behind you in this position. I headshot the sniper, but unfortunately, once again, I'm not able to finish him off, and the Jurati makes me kind of back up and lose my nerve. I bump into the scout, get one shot off on him, but he starts to get a big advantage of me, so I pull out my knife, back up to dodge his attack, and then move forward to kill him. I unself when I see some possible targets. And jump down for the sniper, the medic, and the demo, before dying to the demo's pipe bombs. I managed to find the NG right when he picks up his level 3 sentry. Now get boxed in the corner because of the demo's pipe bombs. And I should have moved sooner. I was expecting him to pull out or I was expecting him to pull out stickies and place them on the ground, but he did the smart thing. If I had reacted sooner I would have lived. Now kill the NG again and sap his sentry. And stealth and move on in. Here's someone open the gate, so I know they're coming. Decide to go for it. Kill the demo, stop the telly, and then run away from the medic. I instantly reself. I want to go back in, but he's letting his teammates know that a spy's around. So I back off, trying to flank him. He turns around and sees me though, so I decide to do something I usually don't do, and that's play defensive, back off a little bit. Sometimes you just need to back off. Here I jump down and I veer to the right to avoid bump me into enemies. <laughs> I jump on the demo's head and then get behind the uh, heavy for a nice stab. I stealth and wait a second to make sure I'm completely invisible before heading in. I remove my cloak instantly because my cloak is a bit low and I want to sap as soon as possible to allow the soldier to take out their buildings.
I'm watching our flank. It's a great place for stair stabs. No one's coming, so I decided to try and take out the heavy, which I managed to, right before the sniper would have shot me. Trying to bait people over into the stairway, but it's not happening. So I decided to finally uh, move on in. And before moving in, I stealth and make sure I'm completely invisible. As always. Now a random arrow gets me, unfortunately, and I bump into several of them, so I back off and wait till they stop looking for me, and then uh, move in. I have very little options here, especially with no cloak, but I'm able to like, kill a medic before the heavy kills me on the point. Or the demo, rather. On defense now? On gold rush? I kill several of them, then the scout sees me, so I stealth, and then once I'm going one direction I, and I'm invisible, I go the other direction. It's a great tactic for throwing people off. I kill the medic, inside the dispenser, stealth. And now I'm low on cloak, and I get boxed in the corner by the spray. The soldier finally turns around, but unfortunately when he does, the demo hears me uncloak and turns around and kills me. Smart demo. Back at this one, I sat the telly, and I get a telly frag. <laughs> telly frags aren't necessarily that impressive on their own, but something about them just makes me such a happy spy. Back at this spawn, and you get a kill, and I heard the gate open from spawn, so I know someone's behind me, and I hear uh, the medic sticky, so I know it's a medic. So I instantly recloak as soon as I get to the middle. Now here, I could have gotten this building to grab health and ammo, but I decided to go up to this path instead, because this path is more open, so the medic won't be able to box me into a corner this way. Now, I jumped down to try and get the demo, but he's the one I stabbed from spawn, so I think better of it inside. Uh, he's not worth it, I should try and get someone else. This leads me to kill the sniper and the heavy. I decided not to go for the medic because there was 30 seconds left in the round and so I wanted to kill the class that was pushing. I thought about messing with the medic here but decided that I'd rather go to their spawn and double check for teleporters instead of killing people that I, I just killed and would be more likely to be aware of me. I'm back in their spawn now, there's no teleporters, but I decided to still stay here. <laughs> I missed the pyro. And finish off the uh, spawn. Go back in, I just want to cause as much disturbance as I can before the round ends. <laughs> now I've got him really distracted, and we win. On offense now, I stealth once again before going in and I pick up the metal to make sure my health pack or my cloak is as, lasts as long as possible. I grab another um, ammo pack and while stealth I move up top to see what I'm dealing with, what defense I'm dealing with. I wait for my enemy cloak to, to kick in before going up for the stab. Now someone comes through the teleporter, this causes me to instantly run and sap the sentry. I get trotted, but I want to get take out the uh, telly so I jump up and sap it as well. I stealth and I'm very lucky that no one followed me. Jirati does give you away while well in stealth, but sometimes while stealth, people will not notice you, the yellow shimmer. So it's just a nice thing to do. I pick up the ammo to refill my cloak and jump down to kill the soldier, the sniper, the medic who's at 86% uber, and the NG. I go back, bump into the demo, stealth, run away, and Soldier spams the ground. Actually, I think he was firing at someone else and I just got hit by the rocket. Still on defense. Medic and soldier ubered and I killed the medic once the uber ends. I stealth early because there's metal on the ground. So it just gives me a little extra invisibility. I bump into two, not one, but two pyros, so I'm feeling really screwed right here. But I jump down and I manage to get a kill, and almost kill the demo. Set out the, the telly, and just barely missed the shot. But, it went from being what I thought was a failure to a kill, and uh, killing a telly. So, you know, 
never give up, no matter how bad you think the situation is. Now here I find two teleporters. My usual strategy when I find two teleporters is to kill one and then go through the other, possibly trying to get a telefrag. Now the soldier <laughs> apparently thought I was sapping the exit, so he just stood on it, <laughs> which was perfect for me. So I loop back. They're saying on the mic that there's a spite spawn, so they all know I'm there. Now, the engine's paranoid and probably waiting around, so I sap the telly and stand on it. Now I stealth because, you know, might as well. The telefrag works! <laughs> and now the soldier notices me. <laughs> He's not letting me get away this time. He jumps and I'm able to dart around him and get the backstab. <laughs> Leading to a very frustrated soldier. <laughs> back at their spawn. Once they go far enough away, I set the, the telly. Now here, the soldier goes to rocket jump, so I duck behind the wall to make sure that he doesn't turn around and see me. And I stab away. <laughs> exactly why I play Spy, moments like these. Now, unfortunately, I did not stab because I was trying to get both of those kills, and I did not notice the level 1 sentry. I should have looked around and been more cautious in that situation. Now this next clip doesn't have a single kill in it at all. In fact, <laughs> it doesn't have much of anything in it besides me running around. Now I, you might think this is strange, but I, how you run as a spy is so very crucial. Like here, I pick up the ammo, duck around to dodge the scout. Now here I'm trying to grab the metal, but I back off when I see that the soldiers are about to get on it. And I have to go for this one instead. The way a spy moves is from the drops on the ground to the next drops on the ground. So from the middle and health to the next middle and health. That's how the spy moves. I jump down and sap to distract the NG while I try and stab the heavy, but the heavy turns around, so I turn around as well. By the time the soldier behind me realizes I'm an enemy, I've already grabbed the health back, and I manage to stealth up top and am able to run off into nowhere. Now remember, I'm going right for the health. Now once I grab the health, I'm going right for the ammo pack, because that's the thing I need right now. With no cloak, I need my, my ammo first. And then with that ammo pack, the big ammo packs, they ref refill your cloak meter to full when you're playing default cloak. Now I notice the moment to go in, I stealth and then start moving forward and then go a different direction once I'm fully invisible and they had no clue where I am. Now remember, picked up the ammo and the health again. Now I'm still in stealth and I'm going to pick up the ammo again. I'm basically allowed to remain permanently in stealth by just running efficiently. It's a marvelous tactic and you need to learn it if you're going to play default cloak. And you should learn it if you're going to play spy in general. The cloak and ammo packs or the, the ammo packs and health packs determine how you run. Now I try and get a stab on the, the uber medic, missed it, but you know, what can you do? So I grab the metal on the ground, back up when the pyro starts to run forward, but when he's hugging the wall I realize it's safe, so I move forward. Soldier jumps down and I dart to the side, thinking he's going to fall the heavy, unfortunately he falled me, which leads to my death. I could have avoided if I just watched his pathing, but that's exactly how you need to run as a spy. From one ammo and half pack to the next, it's also how you can predict a spy's movements. If someone's predicting your movements and following you as a spy, you need to watch where they're going and then run the opposite way and juke them. Well guys, this has been uh, Lucas K.O. Bro, aka F Frisky Dingo, with uh, <laughs> my 7th spy video. Thank you so much for watching, it means a lot to me. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, because it means the world to me. I spend so much time putting these videos out there, and <laughs> I know I haven't been doing a very good job of getting them out to you on time, but it's one of my highest priorities right now. And uh, if you'll just bear with me, I promise to be bringing you guys consistent content like you deserve, because <laughs> it thrills me so much. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> it means the world to me. If you uh, if you like my videos, if you have any uh, any uh, suggestive uh, criticism, any any you know helpful criticism, you could pass my way, or any suggestions. I would love to hear them. I read every comment, and uh, very soon we'll be doing some viewer appreciation videos to show you exactly how much you guys mean to me. I'll be uh, doing some some videos. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I think I'll probably be doing like a you know 
random random classes aside from aside from uh, spy uh, and answering every single question I've I've gotten uh, through the comments. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I think uh, one of my next couple videos I'll be doing that. So look forward to that. If you have questions, go ahead and post the, them in the comments. Um, I don't always answer every question. Uh, but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the viewer appreciation videos will change that. <laughs> I want to, I want to be close knit with my viewers. I want to be, you know, involved in their lives. I want to hear their feedback, and I want to answer the questions and how about in any way I can. Well, anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Take care. Oh yeah, and click that subscribe button. Or Saxton Hill will find you. <laughs>